Ah, dinky do me heart is, is just me, Scotty McClue. Quick pop-up in audio only to say hi to every single one of you. Hope you're all well. Tell 10, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10 that Scotty, of course, is live on the TikTok just for you saying dinky do. How marvellous is that, I said you. And uh, do come and join me and uh, let us know if you're watching. That will be fantastic. Say hi, of course. There's Scotty. 113 has joined us, so a massive hi to him, I say to you, and a big dinky-do, that's what it's all about. Richard has joined us, dinky-do, Richard, lovely to have you with us, and so has William. Now, um, we're out of uh, vision at the moment, because I wanted just to talk to you and see what's happening and have a bit of a catch-up, so marvellous. Thank you, Richard, for sending me red roses, that's so very, very kind of you. Hello, Scotty, says Richard. Hello, Richard. How lovely to have you with us, and a big, big dinky-do to you, I say to you. Uh, there's Roddy has joined us as well, and James. Good to have you with us, James. Thank you very much for joining us this Saturday afternoon. 17 minutes past two is the time. Uh, lots and lots of tap, 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 de tap, please, so that we get the likes up. I think that's rather fantastic. And um, also, there's lots and lots of new TikTok videos for you. So get watching these as soon as you possibly can. Uh, lots happening there as well. Daffy Duck has just joined us. Dinky do, Daffy. How lovely to have you with us. And as Roddy has joined us. Aha, me hearty. Aha, Mags. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do, I say to you. Get liking, guys. Get tap, 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 tap. Tell me what you think of the out of vision. It means you don't see my visog, but uh, it allows you to have a, a good old listen and see what's what. Now, uh, hello, Scotty. Hello, Logan. Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, I say to you. How marvellous is that? Tell Ted, tell Ted, tell Ted, Scotty McClue is live on here. How amazing is that? It's just fantastic. And just a random pop-up to try out the audio only. A uh, bit of a new feature. Uh, are you supporting today's Independence March? Mags, we always support anything to do with independence. And uh, it's been very interesting. Ewan says, why no camera today, Scotty? Trying out a new feature, Ewan. And I just wanted to see what it's like in the audio only and see how many people come and join us. Uh, so there you go. So get sharing as soon as you can. Uh, Dinky do. Thank you very much for following Rachel Elizabeth. So very, very good of you and very, very much appreciated. I say tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on TikTok just for you. Uh, tell me what you think of the audio feature, if you like it, because we could probably have crazy pop-ups without me having to brush my hair and plait it. <laughs> All that sort of thing, I tell you. Um, how are you doing, Dinky Do, David? Hi. You sound like one of my old teachers, says Ariana. Wow, Ariana. There we are. Well, I think maybe I've got that sort of voice of authority, you'll see. So that's probably why I would imagine. <laughs> so good to have everybody with us. Tell 10 to tell 10. Lots of new videos for you on the TikTok. Uh, so get on to these as well. Scotty. Uh, so there we are. Scotty's been greeting. That's why he's no one to be seen. Now, KATV, what would I be greeting about? He was funny, so it was good. Oh, we like fun. Scotty McClure for First Minister, says Mags. Well, Mags, I decided not to throw my hat in the ring, uh, you know, just to give the present candidates uh, a fighting chance, you know, or candidate, is it now? I don't know how many are in for it. I think a good thing would have been to um, maybe chummied up with the Halba party, Alaba party, and... Um, got Mr. Salmon to stand in just to bring back that kind of statesman element to Scottish politics, you know. Uh, so there are Scotty, hello, ma'am, dinky-doo, I say to you. Uh, but I have put a little video up 
should I uh, throw my hat in the ring for Prime Minister? Uh, you know, just joking, me. Hope you're well, RK TV, of course. I'm well, and I'm just joking as well. I'm joking, I tell you. Uh, so that's very important. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Scotty McLean for you, live on TikTok in audio only. So we thought we'd try this new feature and see what you think about it. Kevin's just joined us. Thank you, do, Kevin. Lovely to have you with us. But it's been quite a week in politics and quite a week in uh, Scottish politics in particular. So there we are. And um, we've, we've, we've lost a first minister and we're hopefully about to gain another one. Is McClure Towers in good shape? Well, my Pyrrhus is out. I'll be posting pictures, Mags, and a uh, down at Bluebell Wood in McClure Towers. Uh, the Bluebells are out. So it's absolutely incredible from that point of view. So there we go. Now, um, can everybody share this? Let everybody know what's happening so we can get a bit of chat going. Uh, I think that's important on a Saturday afternoon. How will the England's local elections uh, affect us, you mean affect us, KATV, very important. So they might have a cause and effect, but they will affect us. Um, not to the great extent, the only problem is, uh, you know, these people in England are obviously connected with Westminster and therefore it puts other pressure on. I mean, it's just sheer madness for Scotland to be anywhere near being run by Westminster. You know, that's that's the point I'm making. Dinky do, McClue. Finally, you're live. We are, Darius. Yes. I haven't been keeping terribly well, so I wasn't able to pop up. Uh, your first major decision as first minister would be, I think, to repeal the um, Hate Crimes Act. I think I would repeal that right away. I think that's very, very important. I would also be very clear that Scotland was 100% behind the crown, the monarchy, so that we don't get beaten with that stick. If we did get another independence referendum, and if we went back to the polls for independence, because this has been the problem with the nationalists, oh, for the last 90 years. That's actually been the problem with the nationalists for the last 90 years, guys. They've, they've lost votes through being anti-monarchist uh, and things like that. Will Swinney scrap the hate crime law? I don't know, KATV. I don't speak for uh, the uh, prospective candidates for first ministership. I don't speak for the SNP. I speak for the people of Scotland. And that's it. That's why I'm apolitical per se. What's your view when you see the TikTok abolishing the crown? Uh, I think it's mad as well. It's complete madness, Richard. Uh, you see, it's the one thing that's actually working. People get hung up on personalities and they say, oh, this member of the family was this or this member of the family was that. Forget all that. Focus purely on the fact that the members of the royal family, well, the monarch in particular, is the curator and custodian of the crown. And the crown is our symbol of authority in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Scotland took over the English crown in 1603. So the monarchy is essentially Scottish. There's Donald, dinky do Donald, Scotty McClure for first president. You are very, very kind, Donald. I actually wouldn't mind being the president of Scotland because that would be the go-between between His Majesty the King, the head of state for Scotland, and uh, the first minister, the, uh, the political leader in Scotland. Donald Dewar will be turning in his grave. I dare say, KETV, absolutely dinky do. I was reading a biography of Donald Dewar, the late Donald Dewar, written uh, earlier in his career, and it was saying that he was very cerebral and very serious um, and maybe too much 
for immense popularity. And they obviously didn't realize just how popular Donald Dewar actually was. I know he got vandalized, his statue at the top of Buchanan Street got vandalized, but you get vandals everywhere. I mean, if you put up a statue of Scotty McClue, then uh, somebody might interfere with it. Who in Parliament over the last few months would you challenge? Ooh, I'd challenge a whole lot of them. I'd challenge virtually all of the Conservative Party, uh, you know, and ask them, what are they playing at? You know, we need to get back to elected members, and they need to make sure that they are not, how can I put this, they're not a beholden to anybody apart from the British people or the Scottish people. That's what you need, absolutely. You're a legend, says Jack. Thank you, Jack. So are you, I say to you. Give me some likes, guys. I know I'm not up in vision, but tap, tap, tabity, tap, tabity, tabity, tap. The audio probably doesn't attract as much as the vision, as many people as the vision, simply because. Uh, so there we are. Um, you know, it's new. It's a new feature. Your go-to alcoholic drink, Scott, says R. Well, I don't drink alcohol at all now. So my go-to non-alcoholic drink would be tap water. Up the Ipswich. Good one, Angela. Thank you, dear. First thoughts that come to mind, uh, says Mags. Oh, I'm not going to, to do that, Mags. I'm not going to go. I wouldn't personalize it to that extent. I've been a little bit shocked and appalled and rather upset about how people have been personalizing politics, actually attacking the individual rather than their politics or their party. And I think we need to get back to raising the game of politics. That's what I would like to see. Um, and get some good people in there that are for the people. That's what I say, for the people, FTP. Very, very important. Just a simple impression question. Oh, Mags, um, you know, I mean, very colorful and very cultured, but, uh, but I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed, Megs. You know what I mean? We need to have the people at heart. Up the Leicester. Good one, Angela. Scotty, uh, says Charlene. Uh, well, Charlene, not been well, dear. Not been well. Uh, that's the problem. Uh, you know, been very unwell. Old, you know, chum, Scotty. Not been well. But uh, all being well, uh, we'll come back and see you soon. So there we are. Very important. I uh, just wanted to say I love what you do and I wish you well. United Kingdom, you are fantastic. That is so kind of you. Trucker Dave, happy Saturday, Scotty. Happy Saturday, Trucker Dave. Up the Aberdeen. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. I uh, hope to have you back. Very missed. I thank you so much. That's very kind of you, Charlene. And uh, it would be lovely to be back because I miss everyone. I tell you. But I just wasn't up to it at all for the first time in my life. First time in 50 years I had to take days off my work. Can I join, says Archie. Well, Archie, you're here. You've joined. Yes, news flash. I said you. <laughs> How fantastic is that? Uh, does the SNP forget... Uh, how bad uh, Swinney was the first time round as SNP leader 25 years ago. KATV, I think your problem is you're probably better the devil you know in politics, uh, you know, and uh, his party will be his party will be electing him in. But we actually need uh, serious elections. But it's getting the right caliber of people to stand. I've been asked to stand as a politician many times, but I don't know that it's my game. Does you have a favorite year on the mic, uh, Scotty? Uh, Mags, every year. We're now into year 32 of Scotty McClure. So next month, Scotty McClure has been a part of British people's lives, the United Kingdom's people's lives 
for 32 years. Now, uh, our broadcasting is a bit Mickey Mouse now, and I take huge comfort in knowing that the British people love Scotty McClure, regardless of whether NMD programs Scotty McClure into their television or radio station. I know it's a big, big winner, and the only reason Scotty McClure is not on a radio or television station is because it's so big, it's so powerful, it brings the searchlight and the spotlight right onto that radio station or television station because that's where everyone's watching. Angela's saying Leeds have lost. Have they, Angela? I haven't been watching. We, I'll take your word for it, but that's all we know. Right, uh, are we dashing off now? It's been so lovely to pop up and say hi. It's about time we see an OBE appointed to Sir Scotty McClue. Well, Mags, I think you could put one in. But uh, having said, I don't actually need it. Being Scotty McClue, Mags, and talking to someone like you is reward enough for me. And in this week's Radio Times, yeah, I was at last week's Radio Times now, in the Radio Times, they had Terry Wogan, they had Steve Wright, they had Chris Miles, and Scotty McClue as the four big radio people in the UK. Now, you can't say fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. So there you go. So that's what we've got there. So um, I, I, I don't know when it changes over, but Radio Times, and, uh, and there's a lovely bit in that. Uh, about Scotty McClue. Um, there we are, famous, a famous DJ who used to listen to Scotty McClue. Isn't that wonderful? There you are. So check it out uh, if you're in the, the news agents. Uh, Darvel and Hibbs, says Kerzo. Uh, so there we have it. Favourite Scottish football team, Riley, I haven't been well, la. Um Terry Wogan is dead, though, says Prince. Yes, and so is uh, Steve Wright, sadly. So there we go. But that doesn't in any way lessen the fact that they were the kings of British radio. I tell you. Uh, so there we are. Did you know Hamza was a mess waiting to happen before he was appointed? Well, yes, Mags. I mean, I could see it. Um, you know, I knew that uh, that he would struggle. Uh, because he struggled in his other posts as well. Trucker is sending me red roses. Trucker, that is so very, very kind of you to send me red roses. How amazing is that? And they're right up there in the gift gallery. 30, 40, 40 red roses. Trucker, what are you doing? My goodness me, more than 40. Oh, my goodness me. What's your favourite Scottish team then? Uh, my favourite Scottish team, oh gosh. Well, we love the Morton. 70. Trucker, what are you doing? This is very kind. Trucker, guys, has given me 100 red roses. What is going on? And thank you for all your lovely hearts. We've had a 1,000 likes. This is the first time we've tried out audio only. So we love the Morton, and uh, we love the Rangers, we love the Celtic, we love the St Mirren. 102 red roses. What have you done? 50% of the goal. Richard Tan is now sending me another 50 red roses. We're going to end up with the goal, guys. What's going on in Scotland with the SNP? Well, I don't know. I'm not a member of the SNP. I mean, I, I think it's time Scotland was back independent, standing on its own two feet. Good afternoon, mate, says Tam. Good to hear from you again. You are the top man. So are you, Tam. 
We don't agree with Celtics slandering the crown. We certainly don't, Max. We don't agree with anyone slandering the crown. And I think I heard um, a representative of the, of the Alba party, Alba party, saying that he was a Republican. And I thought, ooh, tut, 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 tut. They need to get that sorted out if they're looking for votes. Because that's how we lost it in uh, 2014. 50% of the vote are for independence. Well, it was 45 at that thing, but that was with all the lies and the, the PR machine of the, uh, the unionists, you know. But, I mean, let's go roughly 50% are for independence, roughly 50% for the union. Now, you've got to ask the unionists, why? are you for the union because it's been robbing scotland blind for 317 years it was started with jiggery pokery and skullduggery by queen anne who although she was the queen and although she was a steward was a wee bit bent you know she was a bit on the bent side a bit crazy was old queen anne and she bought scotland she bribed scotland away from the scottish aristocracy 80% of the red rose gold, guys. William, thank you so much for sending all these red roses. I think we're going to get our gold, guys. This is the first time I've popped up for ages, and it's the first time we've tried out audio only. Do you like it? William has sent 72 red roses. Oh, my goodness me. Thank you. Guys, we've reached our goal. Absolutely incredible. I don't believe it. How has that happened, you wonderful people? Uh, I've been missing you all, but by the way, but I've been very, very unwell. So uh, it's good to be back with everybody. Thank you for sending Trucker Dave a hand heart. McClure must speak his voice more. Mags, I think so. <laughs> I should be heard. You know, I, I I do look at the people. I mean, somebody said this was a video that was made. It must have been when Hamza was appointed. And it was a guy said, throw your hat in the ring for the leader of the SNP. And I thought my only problem is I'm not a member of the SNP and I'm not a politician. Do you think more people might be for independence if the SNP wasn't spearheading it? I think so nowadays. Prince, because there's not enough clarity. You need to set out half a dozen goals and say, if I am appointed First Minister, I will deliver that. So I will immediately repeal the, the hate crimes law, step one. Two, I will ask the Scottish people to get behind 100% behind the monarchy. Three, I will bring the party a little more towards the center from the far left. Yeah, so that's three. Four, I will stop a lot of the myth of climate change. We do have climate change, we'll always have climate change, but it's sheer arrogance for any politician to think that they could possibly make a difference to that by stopping a few cow farts and by uh, by telling you not to take your car into the town. Because climate change is not man-made in any shape or form. And I know a lot of young people be thinking, oh, what's he on about? But it's true. It's not man-made and it's not driven by carbon. And it's certainly not driven by CO2 and any serious scientist, not somebody that's been bunged a few quid to say something, any serious scientist will back me 100%. All right, so there you are. Ipswich are now promoted to the Premier League. Yes, have you promoted them? So there we go. Callum, thank you for sharing the live. That's very, very kind of you. So good of everybody to come and join us at this time on a Saturday afternoon. 
this is me just doing a quick pop-up. So there we are. Uh, I'm in the box, Scotty. Thank you, dear. I like your new setup, pal. Tam, thank you. Because I think it's a lot to ask the world to gaze upon my fine physog for an hour or something when we could be doing the audio. So there we go. Absolutely. Without CO2, all plant life will die. Absolutely, Stronger Dave. The trees are the lungs of the world. Stevie says, can you let me join? You've joined, Stevie. You're with us. News flash, I say, from Scotty McClew. Mannequin Man has joined us. How come you would abolish the hate crime bill? Because it's far too dodgy, Mark. And it covers far too wide a spectrum. And it puts us in danger of losing our identity, of losing our sense of humor, of losing our comedians, of losing our people trying stand up, of losing people who like to send things up, of losing satirists, of informing on our families and our neighbors. So it's very, how can I say, it's very toxic to our society, the way that we live in Scotland with our 100% Scottish identity. Yes, yeah, so absolutely. Um, thank you for welcoming me here. Sorry, my English is bad. Lufa, you never apologize on Scotty McClure. You don't need to. Please accept me, Scotty. We go back, back a long time. We do, Stevie. What was your thoughts on the HS2 train line project? Mags, they should have started in Glasgow and seen if they could get to Manchester. They started in London and moved out. And the money from HS2 should have been offered to the BBC or to ITV to say, will you put the Scotty McClure phone in live for an hour at nights on your television and radio stations. That would have been a much better spend of the billions of pounds. Uh, you know, and if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Accept my request, Scotty, please, says Stevie. So there you go. Dinky do, Stevie. Um, I tell you. Uh, no, we'll just run dry just now because... This is the first time we've done this, Stevie. This is my first pop-up. Guys, I've got 2,400 likes. Can we make it 2,500? Can everybody tap, 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 tapity tap on their screens as soon as possible? Hello, Scotty. Hello, David. Uh, Leeds are in the playoffs, says Angela. Angela, I've got to take your word for this because I can't independently check it all up. I say to you, uh, Scotty, we, you and Hamish go back a long, long time. Yes, we do, Stevie. You're absolutely correct. We do go back a long, long time. How amazing is that? Fantastic stuff. Uh, now then, uh, Tam is liking the live. Oh, I wanted 2,500, guys. What have you done to me? You've given me 2,800. Whoo! A wee bit generous there. Uh, Scotty, do you remember years ago you could send a pair of kippers through the post from holidays? Evelyn, I do. And you could also get Loch Fine Herring. Um, and you could put it on a McBrain's boat and pick it up in Gurak. <laughs> uh, so there we are. Mag says, no, Mags. No, 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 I don't think so. Now, we've got another five years to go, Mags. Uh, so there you go. But I just, for the first time in 50 years, I had to take some time off because I've been very unwell. I picked up a largy. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Stevie. Top man, I say to you. Uh, so there we go. If you've just joined us, guys, a very, very warm welcome. You're obviously, obviously listening to Scotty McClure. You're not watching Scotty McClue, you're listening to Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. Hashtag Float I, the first lord of the internet 
Floti, F-L-O-T-I, and uh, as I say, the world's top broadcaster, uh, the world's most handsome man, the world's most humble man. I think it's very important to get that in. Hi, Scotty, do you like China? Well, yes, I mean, I have some beautiful pieces. I have a, a cat in China, and I take my tea very often out of the finest China. So big, big China man here. I love our broth smokies, says Trucker Dave. Don't we just... Trucker Dave, have you ever eaten one uh, live from the smokehouse? Just in your hand and a wee bit of paper and just uh, taking it to bits and gobbled it up. Ho! Oh, I tell you. I love you, Scotty. I thank you, ma'am. You're very, very kind. Now, uh, what time have we got? Uh, 2.47. What do we think of the new setup? <clears throat> Scotty, you taught my class. I did spooks. And what a wonderful, wonderful class you are. Uh, where do you see politics in 10 years? Mags, if they don't get a grip of it, the people will put their foot down and say, we don't need politicians. We do need the people. And they'll scrap the whole lot if they're not careful. And that would be absolutely tragic. So I think we need a lot more dialogue with the people. We make sure our politicians are not run by uh, anybody more powerful than the people because there isn't anyone more powerful than the people i think it's a good setup says tam do you like it tam shall i do more out of vision broadcasts and podcasts and things like that i think it i think it's a good idea because as i say it saves me getting my hair done and getting it all plaited and things like that and also people criticizing me and a guy he said um, tidy up your jumper, mate. So I just responded to him and I said, well, this is great. Uh, you know, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that you're obsessed with my wearing apparel, but I'd rather you concentrated on what I'm saying. So that's the carry on. Um, Darius, no, we don't know at the moment. So, and don't be, don't be saying, are you apolitical? I am apolitical. I'm not a politician. I'm not a member of any political party. Um, I'm only interested in what is best for the people and what is best for the UK and what is best for Scotland. And apart from that, I couldn't give two. So there we go. Uh, ah, Mr. Khan set to win a third term as mayor of London. It's a shame to be fair. Well, I, don't, I think they should drop this you and I say, oh, you were asking me what would I do as First Minister for Scotland? And I said I would repeal the, the Hate Crimes Act. Uh, I would do that right away and get it properly qualified so people can tell jokes. Uh, so there you go. I think that's important. Um, but also... I think uh, I would take that Les thing out of the cities because that's going to kill the city. It might make a few quid for uh, for those who are enforcing it, but no, tut, 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 titty, tut. You know, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, it doesn't matter how many cars driving out the city. You're not going to uh, change the climate change one bit. Why do you always eat tomato soup with a fork? Well, Darius, I eat all soup with a fork because, uh, you know, my wife says to me, when you're finished your soup, can we talk? So that's the reason I eat my soup with a fork. 3,700 likes, guys. How amazing is that? Edward's just joined us. Thank you, dear Edward. What do we all think of the audio-only setup, guys? Come on. I want your comments big style. This is Scotty McClure you're talking to. Yes, indeed. This is not a canary farting down a mine shaft. 
This is the world's top broadcaster. Two billion people have heard of Scotty McClue. And everybody with a TikTok account should be following. Tell me, write down if you've followed guys. I think it's quite nice as Darius. It feels like a radio session. Darius, I know what you mean. I hope it's coming across all right because I can't hear it. I don't have any phones in or anything. I'm just chattering away to the nation and to the world. Yes, says Sean. Yes, what, Sean? Yes, you like the new setup. I used a fork in my sugar bowl. A good one, Trucker Dave. Keep your weight down. Very good. You sound good, says Tam Hamilton. Tam, I thank you for that. I wouldn't have sounded good the other day. I have had the absolute mother and father of all serious chest infections. And it's kept me off my work, which breaks my heart. 4,000 likes. First time I've ever had to go off my work in 50 years. 50 years. That's not a bad record. And it manages to get me with a with a blooming chest infection. There's the Mersey Basin. Always listen to Scotty, 96.7 City FM and Century. Mersey Basin, we love the bones of you. This is the best layout, Scotty. Good format. Um, Mersey Basin, help me out here. What can you see looking at your screen at the moment? I will maybe do more of this. Scottish talk show of years past was fantabulous. Trucker Dave, this has maybe meant we could bring it back. I stumbled on this half an hour ago, and I thought, I'm going to try this. Well, it'll be more than half an hour, because we've been up for at least half an hour, I think. Uh, open boxes and your pick. Right, what what are the open boxes? What what's that saying? I wonder, Mersey Basin. Uh, so there we go. Etan uh, has shared the live. Thank you, everybody. Share the live. Hope you're getting better, Scotty. Well, I'm getting my breath back a bit, Angela. Sound quality will be better now, Scotty. Do you know, Mersey Basin? You're absolutely a hundred percent right. It will because we're not using up bandwidth on in vision. People can come in now. Absolutely, Mersey Basin. Welcome, says Aiton. Yes, indeed. Tam, thank you for sharing. Guys, get tap, 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 tapping and following. Now, if you go up to my bio, right, there's a little bio at the top of my TikTok, and there's a live link to the YouTube channel. Nip and tap on that and subscribe and come back and tell me if you've subscribed and i'll thank you and give you a shout out and subscribe is free so don't think you're getting involved in anything you're not if you want to get notifications of when we go live on youtube live then uh, you know tap the um tap the bell and that will bring you the notifications so there we have it so do that please and then come back and tell me if you've been on the youtube channel I think that's important. We're also going to get more bandwidth on this, guys. We're going to go full fiber soon. Uh, so there you are. What's McClue like for being ahead of his time, eh? I tell you. <laughs> uh, so there we are. I'm getting uh, points here for diamond rewards. What's that, guys? What's that all about? And huge thanks to every single one of you. How do I give you thanks? Oh, I set up a new goal. Let's do that and see what happens. So if I tap that, Remy, thank you for sending me a heart. Trucker David, 102 red roses. William, 72 red roses. Richard J. D. Tanner, 56 roses. Not 20 roses. How beautiful are you people? I can't thank you enough. So there we are. And thank you so much for that. Will we stick with red roses? What will we go for this time? Let's go for 500. And if I don't get them, I don't get them. It's not a problem. The one thing you will never, ever get from Scotty McClue is greed. We are not interested in greed.
Who was that there? Who did I miss? Uh, Turbo Remy, thank you for joining us. You've just got the gift. Have you seen old videos of Mersey Basin? Hello from Renfrew, Scotty. Remy, how lovely to have you with us from Renfrew. And a massive dinky do, I say. That is just incredible. Uh, if you're feeling flush, go for it, guys. Yes, very important. There's Louise, says hi, Scotty. Hi, Louise. How lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do. Remy, what are you doing? Remy's giving me red roses. <laughs> we set up 500 for a laugh. So there we are. If anybody's feeling flush, Remy has just sent 15 red roses. What a wonderful start, I tell you. Uh, so they are, what is that like? Linda's just joined us, a very warm welcome, guys. If you've just joined us, then welcome to Scotty McClue Live. We're trying out the new format of audio only, and it seems to be very, very popular. What about that? Do you like it? Give me a wee comment. And uh, as I say, follow me on TikTok. There's so many TikTok videos for you guys. Uh, you know, get a wee look at that, I tell you. All of them, because there, there's some real beauties in there. Some of them have been viewed by, one was viewed last week by 20,000 TikTokers. Just at a quick swatch at a Scotty McClue video. Is that not wonderful? Thank you, Remy, for my red roses. You are so very, very kind. Turbo Remy, guys in Renfrew, a fine town. I think Renfrew has got, is it McClue Road or McClue Lane or McClue Grove? There's McClue something in Renfrew. I'm almost sure of it. 4,400 likes. Guys, what are you like? This is huge. You're on to something absolutely huge. <laughs> Amazing. A Saturday afternoon of hugeness. Scotty McClure live. Trucker D, what have you done? You've been generous enough. Stop. Save your pennies. Trucker D, who has given absolute fortunes, is sending me red roses in abundance. Incredible. Guys, if you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClue, live, just for you. Haven't been uh, haven't been well for a long time, so I haven't managed to pop up and see you. But it's lovely just to see everyone again. And if you can uh, spread the word, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Just coming up to 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, guys. I'll tell you when it's exactly 3 o'clock. Right, so that you've just got a nice measure in case you're going to do something. All right, so I'll let you know uh, when it's exactly three o'clock. Let us know if you've gone up to the bio on TikTok, tapped on the link to the YouTube channel, and subscribed. Yeah, <clears throat> it's very important. Uh, getting subscribers on YouTube is like pulling teeth, you know, but we're, we're, we're very lucky. We've got about five and a half thousand. Three o'clock, exactly, 1,500 hours. This is the captain speaking. Uh, the time is 1,500 hours. Welcome to our flight. <laughs> three o'clock, guys. If you're going for the three o'clock bus, you might have missed it. But then again, it is Scotland. Trucker Dave, what are you doing? Guys, let me just introduce you to Trucker Dave and tell you just how kind this man has been to me, especially today, <clears throat> but over many years. He's just given me 220 red roses. What is he at? In fact, he might have given me 223 red roses. No, he's given me 208 red roses. He just kept on being generous after it passed the 200 mark. I don't know. I think we're going to end up halfway there, guys. We've got 223 red roses. Where we're looking for 500, 
As I say, you'll never, ever, ever get greed. And Scotty McClure is always free. 100% free at the point of delivery. So, Elizabeth, what are you doing? Elizabeth has now joined in the fray and is sending me 15 red roses. Elizabeth, mwah, you are so beautiful. I thank you very much for your kindness. You deserve it, Scotty, says Trucker Dave. No, Trucker Dave, you deserve the best of everything. I say to you, that is so kind of you. So another 10 red roses, guys, will give us halfway to the 500. If anybody's feeling flush, stick 10 red roses in. <laughs> like I always say to people, there is um, a GoFundMe for Scotty McClue because we want to build the show. And the last time I looked, it was about 1,500 quid. Now, this money was used to buy a computer. 50%, Craig. But I thought, wouldn't it be lovely if everyone who's heard of Scotty McClue sends a quid to the GoFundMe at Scotty McClue? A pound. <laughs> if everybody says a pound, we can expand the show and take some advertising on social media. Things like TikTok and YouTube uh, and that sort of thing. And Facebook Live. I was on Facebook Live the other day. Um, you know, not live, but um, I put up one of my shows and you can see it on the TikTok videos. So have a good look, guys. It's massive, I tell you. So there we are. Guys, we're halfway. We've got 250 red roses. Halfway to the 500 mark. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to every single one of you. The Oracle's just joined us. Lovely to have you with us. Are we all sharing and sharing and sharing? 4,700 likes. Guys, tell me what you think of the audio only format if you like it. Because it's not one. Uh, we've tried before. It's a brand new feature. And I love the idea of it because I've always felt for people having to watch um, Scotty McClue and my fizzog on there when they're used to listening to Scotty McClue. Where in Scotland do you come from, says Elizabeth? Well, I was born and brought up in Greenock or Greenock as an English person tried to correct me. I lived in Mary Hill in Glasgow. I My family come from Ardrishig in Argyll. Uh, have you tried to talk to people on the new setup? Well, somebody wanted to come on, but I didn't uh, look. There's Vary. Is it Vary or Mari? Is saying, Elizabeth, he's fake Greenock. Wonderful. We love that. I thank you. I am a grin. Okay. And I have posted, I have posted a walk along the splash. I have posted Inverclyde from the Lyle Hill in Greenock. With a V, you were right. Thank you, Vari. How lovely to have you with us. Are you Gaelic, Vari? Have you the Gaelic? Are you from the Gaeltach? Kamraha u maha I'm just back from the splash, says Vary. Vary, how lovely to hear you from the splash. We love it. Was it fine today, a bit grey today? No, sadly, says Vary. But Vary, you must, in your background, have Highland blood, I tell you. You must have Highland bloodlines. <laughs> there we are. Grey, but nice and cool. Oh, it would be lovely. It would be lovely. I send you thanks. Have you ever been to the ponds, big man? Dylan, I used to live in East Lothian. The Saltoons. And I used to go to the ponds all the time. And to McMurray. And then I went through Turnent and my way in and out to Edinburgh to Leith. There we are. I'm not. I'm called Vary because my dad was Harry. Oh, I see. Well, I had an Uncle Harry Vary, 
And if you go to, if you come down Bentinck Street, do you know where I am? And you look across to your left, you'll see shops. And that was my father's shop. And my great uncle was Uncle Harry. So there you are. Uh, Henry Cavendish Downey, H.C. Downey. Ask anybody in Greenock if they've heard of H.C. Downey. There we are. I tell you. Uh, I know Bentinck Street, but there you go. I tell you. Um, now, what have we got here? Now, so you come down to Bentinck Street where it joins Eldon Street. And be very careful. Don't do any pulling out. But if you just look to your left on the opposite side of Eldon Street, you'll see some shops. There we are. And I'll tell you, that was that. What about that? 5,000 likes, guys. How amazing is that? But I've had the privilege of living all over the country. Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Greenock, Carlisle, Newcastle, Preston. Where did you learn Gales, Scotty? Irene, have you the Gaelic? Was that any good? If you have the Gaelic, I will say to you, Come ha umaha hachima falchi falchi, ki da mile falchi, don tiktok agas scotchok mcluch. So there you go. Uh, thank you for sending a fist bump, Trucker Dave. Gaelic. So there you've got the you've got the Gaelic, Irene. Ah, yes, indeed. There we go. Now then, show, show TikTok. Show, Irene, folks. Uh, there we are. Now, who else have we got here? Jimmy has just joined us. How fantastic. 5,000 likes, guys. Is that not amazing? Let me know if you're spending a little bit of your Saturday afternoon talking to Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you saying dinky do. It was my parents' first language. Unfortunately, we weren't taught it. I bet they spoke with beautiful accents, your parents, Irene. And of course, Gil is a lovely, lovely name. So there we are. How very beautiful. Very beautiful. I had great, great friends called Gillis. So there we go. So many, so many of them. Many, many. Uh, and a wonderful, wonderful name. And as I say, uh, my grandparents were Gaelic speakers. Uh, there we are. And my mother had a good smattering. And my father won the mod as a, a, a Scottish fiddle player. He was a great violinist. They did indeed. They were from Eilly. They were Elix, Irene. Yes, indeed. And whereabouts were they from? Bumor. Of where they from? Port <laughs> You know, wonderful. Eilly, I tell you, I could tell you a fabulous story about Eilly uh, or Isla. I think I've got, I should be pronouncing Isla. There we are, just beside Jura, the Paps of Jura. And then between Jura and Scarba, you have the Corrivrechen. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, they were from Bomor and Kultun. Ah, yes, Bomor, with the round church up the top of the main street. Beautiful people, the Elochs. Yes, and if you were from uh, from uh, Sky, you would be a Skinoch. Lewis, you would be a Yothsuk. Harris, you would be a Heroch. And I'm just wondering if you're from Barra, are you a Barach? Uh, there you are, or a Berach. Um, let's say uh, the best place is Bomor. Very nice, Irene. And in the days when I liked a refreshment, a very fine malt as well in Bomor. So the devil couldn't hide. You're right. Is it AI or is it Al? So there you are. If it's AI, you're absolutely right. The devil couldn't hide in the round church. And there's a very famous school in Scotland called Gordonstoun, where uh, uh, Prince Philip went and King Charles went um, and his brothers went there as well. 
and his cousins and uh, all that, his nieces and his nephew and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but it's a wonderful, wonderful school. And they have a big building which is round called Round Square. And old Gordon, yes, old Gordon of Gordon's Toon in the 1600s built Round Square because when he was doing the grand tour in Italy, he thought he'd met the devil and the devil said he was going to take his soul. And he made a pact with the devil, he said, pointed to his shadow and said, take his instead. And poor old Gordon, who was a technocrat, never went out again in the sunshine because he thought he had no shadow. But he knew that he could uh, live in Round Square because the devil couldn't hide in the corners. Wonderful stuff. I'm Fay Beautiful Sterling, Trucker Dave, as you know. I started your radio station 33 years ago. No, 34 years ago in June. 34 years ago next month, I started Central FM Radio in Stirling. And I went up to the battlements of Stirling Castle and I looked over the whole castle of Stirling. And I asked myself the question, can you do this? Honest answer. And I answered myself and I said, yes. I can. And I thought, right, get to it. So I launched the station, which is always a big ask. And it's still on air and successful 34 years later. There you are. A great story, says Irene. I tell you, Irene, I used to listen to you on the radio. Irene, you're very, very kind. This new feature might mean we're effectively back on the radio. You see, and it would save people having to sit and look at me. Richard Tan, although I have to say we get huge audiences. Uh, so there, so I might do a blend of things when I'm, I'm well and back at work. And indeed you did, we did Trickle Dave, we set it up and it's still running well. I tell you, a wonderful station. Um, so there you go. But it's a big, big ask to set up any media setup because the competition don't like you. Uh, Dink you do, used to listen to you on Real Radio, Scotty, absolutely, William. Scotland's finest radio hour, Scott FM. Right, here's a treat for you. Scroll down the TikTok videos and you will see a video of um, Scott FM's launch in 1994, September 1994, and I joined in December 1994. Red Rose Gold and Preston Radio, this guy back in the day, late night radio, DJ Frey, where we not? Could you imagine DJ Frey if that show had had the internet? Because everybody used to listen to us from Liverpool from the Isle of Man, and you could even be heard in Edinburgh in Scotland, and I think even London, very shadowy, they could pick up at the right time of year with the right aerial, 9.99 a.m. And that station was so successful. Irene says, I was in my 20s when I first listened to it. So would that be Scott FM? It was great. Irene, can I tell you 100% truth? I loved doing that show. And yes, it took a bit of effort because you think about it, you're talking unscripted for three hours every night and you're attracting an audience of around quarter of a million people, 10% of Central Scotland every half hour. Now you think a huge football game attracts 50,000, 70,000, maybe a massive game at Hamden, Rady, Rangers, Celtic in the old days, 100,000, something like that. And here I had 
two and a half times that. Every half hour, five nights a week. Can you see why the competition wanted that show off? Can you see why the woke brigade do not want that level of powerful chat booming out across the world, telling everyone the truth? I loved it, Scotty. I used to phone in and chat to you about old topics we did because it was the people's show. Especially the phone in, Scotty, says William. I only listened to radio during the day and then I found you at night. Yes, and then we went on during the day as well. As soon as you show any power, they hate it. I mean, they do. Once you start doing things properly, it panics your, your opposition. Not the opposition, your opposition. People who don't like the truth. And there's a lot of them. But there's a lot more people who do like the truth. So we are getting hoodwinked by a tiny amount of people. But most of the people are telling the truth. We need more of it. We do, I mean, it's amazing. Anytime I used to ring a big organization and I would want to speak to their chief exec about something, because I've been very fortunate in my life. I've got to know a lot of interesting people. Everybody's interesting, actually, if truth be told. Everyone is. And um, I would, you know, say, could I speak to so so and so, please? And those, could I ask you who's calling, please? Yes, you can. It's Scotty McClue. Oh, I can't believe I'm speaking to you. Oh, I used to listen to you every night. Can that not come back? Could they not get it on the BBC? And things like that, do you see what I mean? And I've had that for 32 years. So I think, you know, big radio bosses think, no, 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 you don't want that. It'll bring a lot of attention to your station. But the lovely radio bosses I worked for wanted that. Guys, we're at 80% of the 500 goal. Trucker Dave. Please do not spend all your money on Scotty McClure, your Saturday pennies. And there's Richard back. You're a Sigma, Scotty. <laughs> I thank you very much. Somebody told me I was a goat the other day. And then I found out it stands for greatest of all time. <laughs> How amazing is that? I tell you. Trucker Dave has sent 207 red roses on top of the hundreds he sent before, maybe nearer 1,000. And Richard has sent another 18 red roses. William says, God bless you, Scotty. The haters, especially all the single parents who didn't want to work. <laughs> ah, he should be sacked. Get him off. And then they were the first people that when they finally manage to force you from your job on the radio or on the television, they're the first people that go, oh, that's a shame, I missed that. It was good company at night. <laughs> Trucker Dave, what are you doing? Guys, we've just made our goal. Thanks to Trucker Dave and to Richard. Correct, 100%. Davy on, love you, Scotty. Dinky do, Davy. God bless you, Scotty. I tell you, I thank you guys. Right, I want to know what we all think of the audio only setup. Does it sound like the old radio show? Is there big mileage for all of us in this? Oh, God, I hate when people go straight to he should be sacked mode. Well, yes, because they don't agree with what you've said, but they're listening. And then they realize they've thrown the baby out with the bathwater. They've killed off the, the golden goose. They've shot the goose. It's great, the audio setup. Trucker Dave, are you up for it? Because I trust you implicitly, not just because you're the most generous man in the world, but because you know your stuff and you know Scotty McClure. 
Totally, it's just Irene. Absolutely, Irene. And I'll tell you what else. And I've just realized, Irene, we're doing it right now. We're having a conversation. And you don't need to be identified. So, Irene, you and I, and Vary and I, and you, and everybody, and Trucker Dave, and Graham, and Cruncher, I don't need anything on here. We don't need um, any kind of, uh, what can I say? We don't need any, we don't even need any pronouns or anything. We just need what to call you, a handle, and then it's a winner. Uh, DJ Frey says, you was the Jeremy Kyle of the day, Scotty. Well, can I tell you, I was way before Jeremy Kyle, obviously. And when I was at Century Radio in the Northwest, in Manchester, uh, Border Radio sold out to Capital Radio. And they wanted their own man in, and they replaced Scotty McClue with Jeremy Kyle. What about that? Uh, and uh, I, I, I haven't spoken to Jeremy in person, but apparently the poor soul got a terrifically hard time of it. Where's Scotty McClue? How much likes do you have now, pal? 5,400. And I, can I tell you, Tam, you probably know this because I think you were there. But uh, one night I told people we'd had 10,000 likes in an hour. And then they, we had 31,000 likes in an hour. In one hour, right? 31,000 likes. And I thought to myself, you'll never, ever, ever, ever beat that. That was until we did 46,000 likes in one hour. Now, come on, guys. Uh, I'm from Manchester. I remember Capital Radio. Yes, indeed. Do you remember Scotty McClue? It used to be Century Radio. Absolutely. Uh, yes, you did, pal. We did, Tam. Absolutely, we did these likes, and I couldn't believe it. It was just huge. Absolutely huge. It's telling me to set up a new goal. Guys, what do you think? Shall we do it? Trucker David has sent another 394 roses. Now, come on, guys. How generous is that? Richard, Richard J.D. Tanner has sent another, another 64 on top of the hundreds he's sent. Turbo Remy has sent another 15 red roses. Craig has sent another 11 red roses. Guys, what are you like? Do you want red roses or shall we change? Shall we change to something else? I think red roses are probably what everybody knows. Right, I've done it. I've set up another 500. And whether we get them or not doesn't matter, guys. See, I'll tell you what I find is very, very powerful. Is uh, when things actually don't matter. It was years ago, says Donny. What was this, Donny? Hang on. Um, hang on, I need to get back here. I am from Manchester. Remember Capital Radio? Donny Sunrise says, I used to listen to you on the radio. Loved listening to your great show. It was years ago. It would be. We're in our 32nd year next month of the Scotty McClue phone-ins. Was you on TV in Scotland? I was, Angela. Yes, I worked for the three television stations. I used to read the news on ITV. So we had Grampian Television. Border television covering the Scottish borders and Scottish television. And border television straddled the north of England. I think you could get border television down to Lancaster in the southern lakes. I have you on my Sunday show, Scotty, on my website I help run. DJ Frey, you are very kind, I tell you. 
Yes, Scotty, uh, did you do the news on TV? Did they used to read the news? Very serious. Yes, mate, love to listen back in the old days, but we decided, and you could say rightly or wrongly, because I could be reading the news now on ITN. Well, I'd be probably semi-retired. I'd be doing weekends and a few evenings. Uh, you know, and they'd say, now it's time for the news. Uh, but uh, I thought to myself, no, a fun radio show. And I think I made the right decision. You know, I made the right decision. But you can tell me if you enjoy listening to Scotty McLean. And guys, if you can get uh, following on TikTok, very important. But also go up to the TikTok bio, tap the YouTube channel link and go and see the YouTube channel. Uh, Scotty is the best thing to come out of Scotland. Fit Iver. Fit you like, for you, Dane, for your dues. I tell you, what's everybody thinking of um, the new audio format, guys? Audio only. First time we've tried it out, and it seems to be very, very popular. Rachel Tanner, what are you doing? You stop that, spending all your pennies. Very, very generous. Richard Tanner has sent another 64 red roses uh trucker dave shouts hasty back hasty back absolutely i do you remember come in come in come in come in it's nice to see you how's your cell you're looking grand take a seat and hey a drummy man you're welcome here's my hand that we used to see in the new year and television with that Andy Stewart, you made the right decision. Them at the top didn't make the right decision. We lost a great man. William, you're very, very kind. But I have to agree with you. I don't know about a great man, but we lost a great show. And we lost the people's show. It makes the people too powerful if they've got their own show. And if just your ordinary person after their tea, you can say, I'm going to give Scotty McClure a ring about that. So glad you're back, Scotty. William, did you do? I think we'll do more of these audio casts, broadcasts, live streams. I'm right up there with the latest chat, eh? I can tell you live streams on TikTok uh, and see what's what. But this is a new feature. I don't know how long it's been out. I just thought to myself, I don't want all the poor souls to have to see me so i'll uh, i'll see if we can go on just um out of vision you should hear the convos we have in our project you'd love it i mean amazing yes i'll bet if you're anything to go by i'll bet they're of a very high quality i tell you six thousand one hundred likes guys can everybody go tap, 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 Trucker Dave, you are now the title gifter. Title gifter has come up. With all your kindness and generosity. The title gifter. How about that? Will you do live stream with video ever, Scotty? Well, DJ Frey, you'll, if you have a look at the TikTok videos, they're all live streamed with video. So get on to the TikTok videos and get on to Scotty McClue's YouTube. So there we are. It's just called the Scotty McClue Video Talk Show. Dinky do. And shout at your telly. Get your Alexa and shout, Alexa, Scotty McClue Video Talk Show. Alexa, Scotty McClue's Video Talk Show. Dinky do on YouTube and it will come up on your telly. You can watch it on the telly. So there you are. So if you're needing to see the video, DJ Frey, they're all there for you right now. All Alexas were going mad now. Will they, Irene? We'll give it another one then. I hadn't realized. Alexa, play Scotty McClue's video talk show on YouTube getting that from youtube <laughs> mark dinky do mark oj has just joined us 
and is very, very kindly sending me red roses. Mark, you are the number two gifter. I tell you, has anybody's Alexa worked? Let me know. There you are. I think that's very important. If you've just joined us, guys, a very, very warm welcome. You're listening to Scotty McClure. We're live on Saturday afternoon, and the time is 3.31. There are 29 minutes to four. Um, I'm going to have to go in a minute. When you did the phone lines, it was good. Or the phone lines, 460,000 calls in one week. And they had to strengthen the telephone network for Central Scotland. Do you remember that? <laughs> Amazing stuff. Um, Kerry started following us. Thank you, Kerry. Guys, if you haven't followed us on the TikTok, please get following right now. Seven and a half thousand we've got. Seven and a half thousand likes just in this little session. Mark, thank you so much for all your kindness. Guys, we've got to, you never have to pay a thing for Scotty McClure. My Alexa's had a nervous breakdown. Well, just to say. There we are. Irene says, if you get a chance, look us up. The Milton Arts Project. We'll have a look, Irene. Yes. Bless you, I say, and good luck with that. And love to Milton. Uh, follow us if you can. There's Ola, Ola, Henry. Thank you, Ola, Ola, for following, Henry. Moonstomp has just joined us. Dinky do, I say. Scotty McClue, live for you. This is the big one. Saturday afternoon. Bit of fun. Um, and, and we'll do that. Uh, it's, Irene, this is very powerful. I've just realized the power of this. Because there's no distraction from video. So we're all having a, a world, a world conversation. 8,000 likes. And this is the first time up for a long, long time. So I will quite understand if a lot of people haven't made it, you know. You know, I'll get back in the radio, Scotty. Do you know, William, I'm going to be absolutely honest with you. I think this has the potential to be much bigger than the radio. I really, really do. You know, I think it's got the potential to be much bigger than the radio. What about that? I never thought of that. Start your own show. Well, we used to do Saturday nights on YouTube. Uh, get that and a bit of TikTok. Stick to TikTok. Right, Irene? So don't don't be going too daft on the YouTube. Has everybody subscribed to the YouTube channel, guys? Scotty McClue video talk show. Get on it. Let us know if you've been on it and what you think of it. You'll reach more people around the world. Mark, I think you're 100% correct. Wonderful Mark OJ there. Good afternoon from Sweden. Guys, we've reached 50%. Trucker Dave's doing all this. 50% of the, the latest goal. What's going on? Good afternoon from Sweden. Lars, how lovely to have you with us, Lars. There we are, Lars is from Svenska. This is better than the radio, says Tam. Well, Tam, you don't get Scotty McLean in the radio. 80% of target. Trucker Dave is going bananas here. Can we all like the live? We've got nearly 9,000 likes to this live. And we've only popped up for a few minutes, you know, I mean, just to say hi to everybody. How good is that? <laughs> Wonderful, but we'll be doing more of these guys, so don't worry. Trucker Dave, what are you like? What are you like? You must have spent a fortune on me this afternoon. You're very, very kind, I tell you. Uh, is everybody up for this audio? Do you like it? Tam, you like it. You know, I think it's because it gives me more of a chance to concentrate. When we're in vision, I'm obviously working in vision. This gives us more of a chance to, to concentrate. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's better from that point of view. Guys, I'm going to have to go. I love you guys so much. You are very, very, very kind. Trucker Dave, you're, you're so kind. 
What we're going to do is everybody followed. I need to go just now, says Irene. Great to hear you back. Irene, God bless you, my dear. Take great care. Yes, it's good, says Tan. It's okay. Uh, I'll get the same next week. Trucker Dave, you've just been so kind. Thank you. Another 206 roses. You better be back, Scotty. We need the voice of reason. Absolutely, William. Have a fabulous day, Scotty. Thank you, do. You too, Trucker Dave. So lovely to hear every day. 10,200 likes. Stick your tongues out and say ta ta. Ba ba. We'll see you later, guys. Thanks so much. What a wonderful, wonderful show. God bless you.